Hi guys, welcome to Martin Made, and I have five tips for keeping your house clean when you have kids. I know what some of you are probably thinking. Some of you are probably thinking, well, how can you know what it's like to have five kids or eight kids, it's so stressful. Or how can you know how to keep a house clean when you have 10 bodies going all over the place, you know, in your house? Well, there's five tips that I have that have helped me. And I'm a perfectionist. I have two kids and both kids are small and they pull out toys and they make messes. And they're just like any other kid. They're not perfect children. But the areas in which they I want help, they can't really always help. And the areas that they want to help in, I want it done just right that I would much rather do it myself. But I have five things that no matter how many kids you have, these are ways in which you can have a clean home even though you have kids. And so let's get started on these five ways. Now the first one is the one that you hear in every cleaning video. It's gonna be in every single cleaning video. I can almost guarantee you that. If it's not, then somebody doesn't do this and maybe it's okay with them. But the first one is to make your bed. I have always strived to make my bed all the time. Um, from the time I was a teenager probably on, I worked very hard at making my bed every single day. Um, I wasn't always perfect at it, but I did always make my bed from the time that I got married on. Um, I think college helped with that because every day at college you had to ha always have your bed made and if it looked sloppy, then you would get demerits for it. And so I just automatically became a person that just I really enjoyed having my bed made when I went to my bedroom. And so that is one area in which it just makes me feel good. Even if the entire house is a total disaster, that one thing making my bed actually makes me feel like when I come to bed actually makes me feel like, okay, this day wasn't a disaster. And as you know, I have health problems. And so some days I don't get the house spotless. It's not spotless. But the one thing, having that bed made, just makes me feel like, oh, this feels so good to pull the covers back and to climb into a clean bed. That is just the most wonderful feeling. The next one I have is to have routines. Every single morning I get up, I get out of bed, I make my bed, yes. But I take my medicine, I go to the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I get my clothes on, I come upstairs and do my hair and my makeup, I make sure I'm dressed and ready for my day. And that is just my basic routine. I do that every single day because I have always done it every single day. It's become a habit. This routine has become a habit. Same thing with my children. I have a certain way that I do my mornings with them. In the morning, we get up, we get breakfast. Once breakfast is done, I make sure they go and they get their clothes on, except for my daughter, I get her dressed. Um, and then I go into the kitchen, I get the dishes all put in the dishwasher, and I clean up all the counter space, all of the table. I make sure I either vacuum the floor or I sweep the floor, depending on what we had for breakfast. I will, I might have to wipe the floor off, but um, 
that is a morning routine. An afternoon routine is the kids eat lunch and then they go down for a quiet time. Silas goes either outside, down in the basement or in his bedroom and he has to play. He has to figure out something to do. Um, he loves to go outside and he loves to play with our chickens, but um, that's neither here nor there. But then my daughter will go down for her afternoon nap. Now she only takes one nap a day now, so that is where the routine kind of is. And then I have that time to go through the house and what got messy in the morning, I can go through, I just go through the house and I pick things up. I will clean their toys up in the afternoon. Things that are spread all throughout the living room, the kitchen, the dining room. I try to make sure all that's cleaned. And then I will sit down for a relaxing afternoon on either my phone doing work editing or maybe watching a show or just taking maybe a small nap. Silas is old enough to play in his room on his own and he knows to come and get me if he needs anything. And so I can always lay down on the couch and get a small nap in if I need it. And he knows that. And um, he knows all of the routine there. And so once quiet time is done, then I have my evening routine. We, we will have time in the afternoon, late afternoon and early evening to I'll, I'll get supper started and we'll have some time together as a family in the evening. Sometimes we'll watch a show or sometimes we'll play a game. Sometimes we'll do puzzles. It just depends on the day and that kind of fluctuates or we, if we have somewhere to go in the evening, we'll, we'll do that in the evening. Um, and then we have bedtime routine, which I have done a video on this. Um, and it's just a bedtime routine where I will, my husband and I, we sit down and we read a Bible story to my son or do a d little devotional with my son. And then we sing a hymn and a children's song, as well as um, he loves Patch the Pirate. Um, I'll actually put a link down for that down below. They are great Bible stories for your children. I love them. And they have such good, solid truths in them for your children to learn about not being selfish, being kind, loving others, no matter what they look like. Um, they, they are so strong in those areas and they have great songs with them. And so I have a lot of their music. And so I, we sing a Patch the Pirate song every single night. And so then they go to bed. And so that is, those are kind of like our routines throughout the time. So um, the next one is to clean up things after you use them. So like when we have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we will make sure we clean up the dishes really quick. Just throw them in the dishwasher. If it's right, if it's full, then run the dishwasher and take, pull out the thing and wash the others by hand really quick. If you have a dishwasher that has a fast speed, then just set those in the sink. And then once the dishwasher's done, you can always put those dishwash those in the dishwasher and then run the dishwasher a second time. So we'll do that or the living room, the living room gets so dirty sometimes that what I'll do is just every so often as I'm walking through, I'll grab a couple toys that are on the floor and just throw them in the toy bin because they're not getting played with if they're just laying there. And so um, that as well as our entranceway can get kind of cluttered. So just go in and as I'm walking into that area, just, okay, put the coats on the hooks they're supposed to be on. Um, bathroom, I will take and if I'm in the bathroom and there's spots of water everywhere, I'll just take, I've got a cloth that hangs in the bathroom and I just take and kind of wipe that all down. And it kind of gives it a little, a fresher feel. And so that's the third thing to clean up after you use things. The other is to not be picky. And this is a really hard one for me. I have to do this one, tell myself this every single day. You cannot be a perfectionist with children. You cannot be a perfectionist with children. And you might, you might hear that and say, well, I am and I have children. But 
you have I remind myself that I don't have to have a perfect home, especially not with kids. People coming over and dropping in have to accept that this is my home. This is where I live. And it's very hard for me because I am a picky person. And so they have to accept when they come in the door that this is my home. And sometimes it gets dirty and sometimes it's like this. I try for it not to be, but sometimes it is. And so that is where um, you just have to tell yourself daily, I cannot be a perfectionist at this point. Maybe as they grow up and get older, you can be, but not at this point. The last one that I have is to get others involved. My husband helps me a lot. Now, um, some of you, maybe your husband works a lot, or maybe you don't have a husband in the home. Maybe you're a single mom. Um, I don't know your situation, but um, my husband does help me a lot. We talked about this, and this was one area that we eventually had to just, I just had to tell him, look, I need more help. I can't, I feel like I'm being swamped. I'm, I'm being swallowed up by all this stuff that has to get done and I, I need some more help. And so no questions asked, he helped me and he has worked with me on that. The thing is though too, it's not just my husband that helps me. My son does just as much work. He has chores that he has to do. He has a room that he keeps clean. Every single day in the morning, he makes sure it's clean. And then before he goes to bed at night, the bedroom has to be cleaned. He works just as hard. Cherith, she's not there yet. She's not ready for chores yet. Sometimes when we're unloading the dishwasher, Silas is helping and so she'll come over and she'll start grabbing dishes and try to help. She never gets them in the right drawers and she never gets them in the right places, but Silas can and he can help me with that and he can sweep and she comes over and she'll take her little broom and she'll help sweep the kitchen floor. And so getting others involved is another great way to, um, to, to help you keep your house clean, even though you have children. And I know it can be difficult, I struggle with it day in and day out. And you have to remember each day is a fresh new day. Let's start right over from the beginning. Yesterday didn't go well, but today is going to go better. And always encourage yourself. Okay, you know what? It didn't work yesterday, but let's make today work. And um, going into the each day like that. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please comment down below and tell me you enjoyed it. Um, I like to hear from you. If you also liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And those who are new to this channel, you can hit that red sub subscribe button, blah, 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 subscribe button down below. And you may also hit a bell off to the one side and that will bring notifications to your phone when I upload a new video. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you next time. God bless. Bye.